I'm Yasmin Anand with the news from Bahrain Television. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today ratified an issued law two for this year amending some provisions of the Bahrain Penal Code promulgated by Royal Decree 15 of 1976. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and Ministers shall implement the provisions of the law which shall be effective one day after its promulgation in the official Gazette. His Majesty also issued Decree number 18 for this year regarding amending the first article of the Edict 62 of 2008 on regulating the Deputy Prime Minister's office. His Majesty the King received at Sakhir Palace today the credentials of the newly appointed ambassadors of Algeria, Russia, the Czech Republic, Romania and Uganda. The Algerian ambassador, Sayah Kadri, arrived at Sakhir Palace where he was met by the head of the royal protocol. An official ceremony was then held for the ambassador. Mr. Qadri presented his credentials to His Majesty the King as the new ambassador of Algeria to Bahrain and welcoming speeches were exchanged. Russian Ambassador Mr. Vagif Garayev arrived at Zakhir Palace where he was met by the head of the Royal Protocol and an official ceremony was held for the Ambassador. Mr. Garayev then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King as the new ambassador of Russia to Bahrain and welcoming speeches were exchanged. The ambassador of the Czech Republic, Mr. Jiří Slavik, then arrived at Zakhir Palace, where he was met by the head of the Royal Protocol, and an official ceremony was then held for the ambassador.
Mr. Slavik then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King as the new ambassador of the Czech Republic to Bahrain, and welcoming speeches were exchanged. Then the ambassador of Romania, Mr. Adrian Macellaro, arrived at Sakhir Palace, where he was met by the head of the royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for him. Mr. Machelaro then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King as the new ambassador of Romania to Bahrain and welcoming speeches were exchanged. The ambassador of Uganda, Mr. Rashid Yahya Samadu, arrived at Sakhir Palace where he was met by the head of the royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. Mr. Semudu then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty and the Ambassador. During the audiences, His Majesty praised the close relations linking Bahrain and the Ambassador's countries and the progress of these relations in many fields. For their part, the Ambassadors conveyed to His Majesty the greetings of their leaders and their wishes to His Majesty for good health and happiness and to Bahrain further prosperity. Present were the Minister of the Royal Court, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Minister of Follow-up at the Royal Court and the Head of Protocol.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa paid a visit to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and had been assured about His Royal Highness good health after successful medical checkups. Earlier, the Prime Minister Court issued a statement in which they said that His Royal Highness had concluded medical checkups that showed reassuring and successful results and affirmed his good health. We pray to God to perpetuate this blessing so His Royal Highness the Prime Minister continues the process of dedicated endeavours in the interest of the homeland and the welfare of the citizens. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Said of Oman on completing his medical program successfully in Germany. He extended deepest and sincere congratulations on this occasion, wishing him good health and happiness. His Royal Highness hailed the deep-rooted historic and fraternal relations bonding the two brotherly countries and peoples in all fields, wishing Oman and its people further progress. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Said on completing his medical program successfully in Germany. He extended deepest and sincere congratulations on this occasion, wishing him good health and happiness to continue leading his country on the path of prosperity. His Royal Highness hailed the deep-rooted historic and fraternal relations bonding the two brotherly countries and peoples, wishing Oman and its people further progress. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier received today at Gudaibia Palace the Director General of the Emirates Centre for Strategic Studies and Research, Dr. Jamal Sanad Al Suwaidi. His Royal Highness noted the huge importance of studies that aim to spread the notion of moderation and hailed the significant efforts exerted by Dr. Al Suwaidi in highlighting the threats of terrorist groups. The Crown Prince hailed the brotherly Bahraini Emirati ties in various fields and stressed the importance of scientific research and study centers in combating ideologies that aim to threaten security and stability of countries. And for his part, Dr. Suwedi thanked the Crown Prince for his keen interest in supporting topics raised by the ECSSR and for his keenness in developing fields of scientific research. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister also received today at Gudaibia Palace the UK Defence Middle East Senior Advisor, Major General Thomas Beckett, in the presence of the Minister of Defence Affairs, Lieutenant General Yusuf al Jalahma. His Royal Highness noted the UK's significant efforts in maintaining global peace and security, in addition to its major role in the international coalition regarding combating terrorism. He stressed the importance of unifying stances in combating terrorism as it threatens international peace and security. And hail the advanced historic ties between both countries, stressing the importance of developing them, in, especially in the field of defence and military. Both sides discussed recent regional and international issues and ways to maintain security and stability in the region. And for his part, Mr Beckett thanked the Crown Prince for the opportunity for meeting with him and hailed Bahrain's remarkable efforts in maintaining regional and international stability. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today at Gudaibia Palace the outgoing Ambassador of the Philippines to Bahrain, Mr. Sahid Galang. His Royal Highness hailed the outstanding relations between both countries, stressing the keen interest for more cooperation in the economic, trade and investment fields. He hailed the Ambassador's keen interest to develop joint relations, wishing him success in performing his upcoming duties. He also praised the progress of relations between both countries due to the mutual agreements and MOUs on air services, education, investment and economy. His Royal Highness affirmed that such relations pave the way towards consolidating collaboration in different fields to achieve both sides' best interest. And for his part, the Ambassador expressed thanks towards the support provided to him, which facilitated his diplomatic mission in Bahrain. The Speaker of the Shura Council, Mr. Ali bin Salah Al Salah, sent a cable of congratulations to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister regarding the successful medical checkups he had undergone recently. Mr. Al Salah expressed his appreciation for the tremendous efforts and dedication in the service of Bahrain and its people. He prayed to God Almighty to grant the Premier continuous good health and guide him on the right path to be able to carry on the development and progress march in the Kingdom under His Majesty the King's leadership. 
Also, the Representative Council held its weekly meeting today, chaired by Speaker Ahmed El Mullah. The Council decided to reject the decree by Law 63 of 2014 regarding issuing development bonds of public debt and decided to refer the report to the Shura Council. The Representative Council issued a statement in which it condemned Iran's continuous interference in Bahrain's internal affairs and urged Tehran not to interfere in the internal affairs of GCC countries. The Council also reviewed the response of the Minister of Housing on the new strategic plan adopted by the Ministry of Housing regarding providing Isa Town, Budaya, Janabi, Al Jasr and Hamala citizens with housing facilities. The Representative Council also discussed reports on the Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee, Public Utilities and Environment Committee and the Services Committee. The Kingdom of Bahrain is currently hosting hundreds of female entrepreneurs from around the world who have come to Bahrain for the 63rd FCEM World Congress with the intention of building bridges and doing business. More in this report from Daniel Deporto. The 63rd FCEM World Congress of Female Entrepreneurs continued in Bahrain today with a tour of the kingdom's historical, cultural and commercial hubs and much networking and business consultation on the sidelines. Around 350 delegates from 42 countries have arrived in Bahrain for the week-long forum, which has been organized by Le Femme Chef d'Entreprise Mondiale, FCEM, and the Bahrain Chapter of Business and Professional Women International, with support from the Supreme Council for Women, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Economic Development Board, Labour Fund Tamkeen, and the Council of Arab Businesswomen. Held for the first time in the Arabian Gulf, under the patronage of Her Royal Highness Princess Abiyah bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, the theme of this year's World Congress is Building Bridges. Without to know anything about your country, but I was very surprised to see these warm people here and your hospitality. It's ve I'm very impressed and to see how you deal with your tradition, with your culture and I enjoy to be there and to bring my impressions to Germany and to tell to everybody to come to Bahrain and to enjoy to be there. Well, I'm very impressed to see how Bahrain is leading in the region of GCC in not only the empowerment of women, but to involve women in the legislative and executive branches of the government and to have them, you know, in all the positions, ministerial positions, and to be a leader in the region um, and, and rate on the topmost, you know, for uh, getting their women to be on in all sectors. It's my first time to be here and uh, I'm happy to uh, go back and tell uh, our women uh, in Czech Republic that it's a very nice country, very interesting country and it's close. Uh, the difference uh, in time is only two hours and uh, I think it's a very good weather condition, very nice people. For us it's so important to keep tradition and innovate and to continue and uh, I see uh, that in Bahrain, that it, there is a strong uh, uh, and uh, very important pride of uh, origin and at the same time it's a country open uh, to uh, new techniques uh, uh, and everything which is innovation. The attendees are all female entrepreneurs from around the world, representing a wide range of industries looking for investment and partnership opportunities in Bahrain and the region. This conference is to see what we have in difference because but what we have in common where we are complementary and if we have that as understanding then we can have peace but also we can do business. To have uh, this amount of women and uh, this amount of networking that hopefully will happen this afternoon means a lot to us, uh, a lot to us for the GCC and of course for the whole Middle East, we're talking about the whole area. Uh, we have delegations I think from, they said from all over the world almost, North America, Asia, Europe and we're like Again, so proud networking. Thank you, Bahrain. This is very great. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, events to be in here in Bahrain and uh, be with such great women and uh, in in I mean business women uh, activities in 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 Bahrain. So that's this is very grateful. And I think that being in Bahrain, it's not strange because Bahrain is uh, we can say that it's pioneer being I mean for I mean. Uh, helping women in, in uh, small businesses, I mean uh, medium businesses. Building relationships and lead generation are at the heart of the forum's busy agenda, but there is also a broader mission to share ideas, not only about economics, but also wider issues such as health, education and promoting peace and tolerance.
And I really hope that with this Congress we can come back in Bahrain with a project that I expose to the princess and that she likes to make exchange among all the world and Bahrain. So, hope to meet you again very soon. The event will conclude tomorrow after further tours and presentations. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I'm Danielle Deporto. Under the patronage of the Royal Courts Minister Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Isa Cultural Center last night launched the book Al Sarab, written by the Director General of the UAE based Strategic Research Studies Center, Dr. Jamal Suwaidi, as part of cooperation between both centers. The ICC and the SRSC signed three cultural cooperation agreements, which reflect cooperation between Bahrain and the UAE on the cultural field. And on this occasion, the Isa Cultural Center's Board of Trustees Chairman, Dr. Sheikh Khaled bin Khalifa, Khalifa Al Khalifa said that the center's launching of this book emanates from the importance of spreading the culture of peace, which is at the core of the center's goals, in a bid to develop inter civilizational cultural dialogue upon the rationale of intellectual production. He said the book, which is concerned with studying political Islam, lays the basics to understand the main dimensions of the culture of violence professed by some extremist groups that explo exploit religion to serve the exclusionary goals. And now we turn to business news with you, Danielle. Thank you so much, Yasmina. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain Television. BAPCO has announced the completion of its fifth periodic occupational health and safety external audit, which was conducted by Bureau Veritas auditors. The audit covered departments including operations, maintenance, engineering, health, safety and environment, as well as shutdown and major maintenance. The announcement follows a meeting led by BAPCO Deputy Chief Executive for Refining and Marketing, Ibrahim Abdullah Talib, which means that all requirements for continuing the certification were met. Sheikh Dej bin Salman Al Khalifa has been re-elected as the chairman of the board of directors of ASRI and new board members have also been inducted. Sheikh Dej, the representative of Bahrain, chaired the 139th board meeting of the company, which saw ratification of his appointment as chairman for the 11th session of the board for the next four years. The board also reviewed financial and operational results as well as commercial activities during last year. The shareholders of Al Baraka Banking Group have approved a cash dividend of 3% per share and one bonus share for every 50 fully paid up shares. The cash dividend payouts amount to $32,816,061 and the bonus issue amounts to $21,877,374, equating to 2% of issued and paid up capital. Shareholders approved the transfer of 10% of net income, amounting to $15,173,115, to the statutory reserve, reviewed in relation to the financial year ending December 31st. The meeting also approved the remuneration of $1.5 million to the Board of Directors and the reappointment of EY as auditors. The Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,450.46 points. That's a decrease of 4.28 points below yesterday's closing level. This decrease was due to the fall in the commercial bank sector, with investors trading mainly in the services sector, representing 77% of total share value traded. In total, 31 transactions took place today, involving 544,853 shares, worth 113,221 Bahraini That's dinars. News from Bahrain Television. From the whole team here, goodbye and thank you for watching Channel 55. Thank you for joining us. Good night.